So for today, right, we are actually going to talk to you guys about the features in the Corvette tank build. Alright, so today we are actually going to share with you guys a little bit more about the features that we have here in the Corvette tank. Um, okay, so let's start from the fish selection. So, like I've mentioned earlier before, right, this tank here is actually going to be more of a coral tank than a fish um, tank. The reason why, because we have the 5 feet right beside it, which is going to be the main fish tank. And this tank itself, right, is just going to be very simple. I'm just going to keep a couple of really nice, um, I would say a bit more sensitive specimens here. Just for the reason because they cannot really do that well in the main tank due to the aggression and all the other stuff, right? So they are here for a reason because these guys are a bit much more gentle compared to the other stuff that we will see in the 5 feet. So let's start up with the first thing that we will show you guys is um, our pair of clownfish. So the clownfish, you guys know that you have seen it before, they are our pair of the Dalmatian um, stomps. So these guys are from uh, Balia College. They are really nice fish. We named them before in the 25 gallon, uh, which you guys will see, which um, one is vanilla and the other one is milkshake. So the little difference that they have ever since they arrived, right, is the whites and the blacks is a bit more contrast now. Their blacks is actually really, really, really full black now compared when they first arrived. They are still in that mocha, mocha kind of... Um, pattern but right now they are like fully intense black and the interesting thing about it right they both of them already starting to um, showing some aggression towards each other you do see we are lucky enough that we actually have a more aggressive piece and a more submissive piece so one actually do portray the aggression and then the other one will submit which is a good sign it shows that they are still in a very confused state right now but as time goes by one will actually turn into a female and the other one will stay as a male. So we will be seeing a pair soon. And the very funny thing about it, right, like I mentioned before earlier, right, I didn't really want to move the Xenia over, but I had to move the Xenia over because it's their home and they are actually really starting to host on the Xenia already. So hopefully they will stay in the Xenia colony and then at the same time, right, they will form a really nice pair in the tank. The next fish that we will be mentioning to you guys, right, is also a pair of... Um, it's a pair of fish, but they are not pet yet. Um, I don't see a male yet in this pair, which is my pair of fairy rest. So, a couple of, probably about a month ago, right, I actually stumbled upon um, Iwana bringing a shipment of from RVS, which came in the Pintail fairy rest. And this is by far the only time that I actually see fairy rest um, going for such a good price compared to the other times. So I really had to get a pair of it and thank fully to Tevin for actually picking up a pair for me and then sending it to my place which is really really do appreciate um, Tevin for all the time, all the quality and the amazing fish from just Iwana themselves. So the reason why I wanted pin tails right is because I always always like the lancelot tail on the fairy rest but then the other few species they actually do get quite big like the rosy fasciatus and the other few, right, they usually get a lot bigger. So for a small nano tank like this, right, it's not very ideal. And the cool thing about this pintail, right, if you guys have um, known pintail for that many, many years, right, they used to be named under the Lanceolatus um, species, which they are part of them, but then they are also not part of them. And it's only about four years ago, right, they actually have their own scientific name, which is the Isosceles. So... They are very interesting, not just because they have that, that lancet tail, right? But the very cool thing about this rest, right? They actually don't really belong to the Lancelotus family. They are more towards the Brunus rest family and not really the lancet tail family. But So there's a couple of times people do suspect that whether these guys are a hybrid between the two different families or not. But due to because that they are smaller in size compared to the other lancet family, they have this black saddle on top of them, which also similar related to the Civilarus Brutus. So 
they actually have little bits of traits here and there and they are size wise right they are actually a lot smaller compared to the other of the lancet family group so some people suspect that they are some people suspect that they are not but then we really don't know about it they didn't really have a proper proper scientific um, finding on it still but it's a very pretty fish i like them because they have a very interesting history a very interesting background and they have this very nice tail and the colors are good they get that pinks the golds the purples on them so in a small tank like this right i really want things that is uh, really really colorful things that is really really nice um that will stand out and to have a pair of pink tails here i'm still waiting for one to turn to a male and hopefully we'll be able to see some um, flashing displays at night when they start to um go into their courtship behavior right the colors will get a lot more intense which i hopefully hopefully will try to show you guys um within like for the next year or the next two years from then on the third fish that i will be showing to you guys right is a angel so you guys also asked me like why an angel in a coral tank so the reason being so right the i have the five feet there which is mainly angel dominated and why not keep this angel there the reason that I have is the same for the fairy rest, right? It's due to aggression. So the fish that I'm actually getting for, or I got for the coral tank, right? It's a lot. It's a, it's a fish, a wish list for most people, but then it's super, super, super hard to achieve because these guys are just stubborn and they don't really eat well in captivity. So the fish that I'm talking to you guys about, right, is the multi bar angel. So if you guys have ever heard of multi bar angels, right, you guys would know how notorious these fish are in their survival rates. Out of 10, all 9 will perish and only 1 will make it. So when I first got this tank, right, I was thinking of putting in either the multi bar or the Venusters. But knowing that the multi bar is the harder species, right, I really do want to give the multi bar a try. So I went out and I got 3 of them. And out of the three, only one made it. So this guy over here, right, is currently eating everything from pellets to brine stream to mice, right? Whatever you throw, he eats, which is a good sign for multi bar. And how I get them to start eating, right, is actually I learned this trick from um, Koji, which is the owner of Blue Harbor, right? Um, if you guys have not seen before, right, um, go check him out. He has a very, very good collection of rare fishes and angels, right? And he also has the Holy Grail the peppermint angel so what he did was when he first started to get the peppermint to eat right he gave the lrs fertility diet so i have fertility diet at home because of the clownfish so i decided to give these guys a try when they when i first got them um under quarantine every day right i spam them with my sea spine shrimp fertility diet and angel formula and within the second day or so right both out of the three are eating which i got Two of them to start eating and then after that um, the one that refused to eat right at the end got waste away the other two one is still the both of them is still with me one is still in quarantine because it's still not as aggressive as this guy this is by far the tree that is a lot more aggressive one so this is why he actually made it into the coral tank and why is he here is because if it's if i'm going to put him in the main display right chances are is he's going to be out compete by all the other more aggressive fish and with their shy behavior, right, what happened is he will stop eating and then I'll probably get him to waste away and he will perish in the 5 feet, which I don't really want to. Over here in the coral tank, there's no aggression that is going to be there to disturb him. So i rather him be here. He's just alone on, his, on himself and then, yeah, he's pretty much adapted very well to the tank. And right now, whenever he sees me, right, he'll come straight up to the surface and he will take food straight from the pipette which is really really rare to see in a multi bar angel so really really liking the collection that i have right now and i also have one more extra fish which is the algae blenny the reason why i have the algae blenny here is just for algae control i didn't really want a tank in a small tank but i want a grazer so this is why i decided to go with the algae blenny just for him to do the cleanup of all the rock works and all the stuff in there so yeah, so this is the current fish list that I have right now. So if you ask me, I will add in uh, any other fish in the near future, right? Uh, what I would say is not really for now. 
I felt that the bio load is pretty much where I want it to be already. Maybe I'll add in one or two fish in the future, but those fish has to be uh, really, really, either they are very rare, they are very pricey, they are very sensitive, that I need a small, a bit more gentle tank to host them, right? Then I would consider getting them and put them into this coral tank. But for now, this is the fish list for the coral tank. And like I've mentioned before, right, the main purpose of this tank is for the fish. It's for, sorry, for the corals, not for the fish. The fish are there just for some movement only. So yeah, that's all I will say for now. So same thing if you guys like the videos that we're putting up for you guys so far, right? Like, subscribe, share it out, and then for next upcoming video, right, I will be actually talking about the main star of the tank, which is the coral themselves. So same thing, stay tuned next Sunday, and I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.